I don't know if you know this or not, but Selena Gomez is evil. Um, but I'm going to show you um, or what Selena Gomez does and says is wicked. Um, now, I'm going to show you how Selena Gomez is actually, <laughs> she's connected to um, Disney, and she has a song called Come and Get It. I mean, here, I mean, I'll briefly show you what's what's going on here. Just pay attention to what's going on here in this music video. Are you serious? Now, if you type in Selena Gomez on Wikipedia, on uh, just the internet browser, what you'll come up with is um, just Wikipedia. Um, and I'm not saying Wikipedia is always reliable. But if you go down here, um, here's Wikipedia. Selena Gomez on Wikipedia. This is who you're dealing with now. Um, if you go down here, it says right here that she, one of her labels is Hollywood Records. So you got Hollywood Records right here. Now, if you notice down here, look who they, who their parent, their parent company is. Okay? Disney Music Group. Who owns them? Oh, okay. Well, uh, who owns, who's their parent company? Well, Walt Disney Studios and Walt Disney Company. That's who their parent studio is or their parent company is. This, this, not, not this building here, but this company. And so, when you see these types of things and see these connections, it's, this is what I'm trying to say. You gotta stay away from, Disney has, should be stayed away from. If you're a Christian and going to Disney, you're associating yourself with, ev with an evil, evil company, okay? Now, um, Selena Gomez recently also did um, a song with a with ASAP Rocky um, called "Good for You." Okay. Um, if you don't know who ASAP Rocky is, I'm warning you. If you don't like looking at cult stuff, um, I would stop watching this video right now. But if you really want to see the truth about what's going on here and the connections between ASAP Rocky and Selena Gomez, I would keep watching. Um, because um, and, I'll, and I'll find it here. Um, he 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 is he's all involved in drugs and stuff. At least when I listened. Uh, when I was going around smoking weed three years ago and stuff, uh, and stuff. Um, I'm having trouble finding it, um, but yep, okay, I found it. This song right here is called. It's called What's Up. And uh, I'm just going to flip through this music video. It's got a lot of explicit images in it. Um, a lot of bad images in it. But within this music video, they're lighting a pentagram. Watch this. Just proved to you also, this is by ASAP Rocky. It's called a video, a video called What's Up. Okay. That is. Do you not see that? I mean, does that not bother you that. Does it not bother you that the. Um, and then see, look right here. I mean, does this not bother you that this person right here. This person right here, 
Okay, this guy right here has a song with Selena Gomez. And he is practicing, straight up practicing, lighting a pentagram on the side of the road. Or, I mean, on the, on the ground. Well, yeah. So, I mean, you shouldn't have said, this is ridiculous. I mean, if you don't know what your kids are listening to when it comes to this stuff, you really need to wake up. I mean, this is deception. The Word of God is the truth. And if you get, if you just, if you don't believe the Bible's true, well, you're going to fall prey to this because Satan's a master deceiver and he can just easily, this can easily, you can easily be persuaded that this is right. This stuff right here is not wrong. Because the only foundation we have is the scriptures. That's why it's so horrible when you actually see someone trying to get you to doubt the Bible. Because that's your foundation for truth. Jesus Christ is the truth. He died upon the cross for our sins. He was buried and rose again the third day. And only by re relying upon his crucifixion, his death, burial, and resurrection, can one be saved. Believe in the gospel. Under repentance or under salvation. So, in closing, you need to you need to pay more attention to just who these artists really are.